the fossil fuels we use to generate electricity, to power our cars, to heat our homes, and to manufacture items, they all produce carbon dioxide emissions, which are the leading cause of climate change. In most cases, the cost of climate impact, like public health, and the damage caused of the destruction from heat waves, droughts, torrential rain, are paid by individuals and taxpayers who are not responsible, and they are directly affected, and they are not taken into account in the decision made by consumer and producer of carbon-intensive goods. A carbon price helps shift the pressure of the damage from greenhouse gas emission back to those who are responsible for it and who can avoid it. Instead of dictating who should reduce emission, where and how, a carbon price sends an economical signal to the emitters and allows them to decide either to transform their activities and lower their emission or continue emitting and paying for those emissions. Placing the right price on carbon helps to consolidate climate risk into the cost of doing businesses. Emitting carbon becomes more expensive, and consumers and producers seek ways to use technologies and products that generate less of it. The market then operates as an efficient measure to cut emission, adopting a shift to clean energy economy and driving innovation in low-carbon technologies. How does carbon pricing work? In order to make a clear explanation, we need to define first two important words. Cap means limit, and allowance means permit to emit carbon. There are two ways to put a price on carbon. Cap and trade program and carbon tax. The cap and trade program set a cap on greenhouse gas emission that is steadily lower over time. It also creates a market for businesses to buy and trade pollution allowances that will become increasingly more expensive. Cap and trade works well by setting a limit on how much carbon dioxide can be emitted overall by industry and giving emission permits. Companies can purchase emission permits from the other firms to emit more carbon or sell their extra permits. The price of the emission permit fluctuates with the market with prices being higher when the economy is growing and lower when the economy is in recession. The best will be if the cap decreases each year and the end result is less carbon dioxide emission overall. Under a carbon tax, the government set a price that the emitter must pay for each ton of greenhouse gas emission they emit. Businesses and customers will take a step, such as switching fuels or adopting new technologies to reduce their emission to avoid paying the tax. A carbon tax differs from a cap-and-trade program in that it provides a higher level of certainty about the cost, but not about the level of emission reduction to be achieved. There is an equally important issue that gets far less attention, ensuring that climate action is delivered in a way that doesn't leave anyone behind, particularly those who are vulnerable. In order to adopt a carbon price proposal will require the welcome of the whole political spectrum, and that's the most difficult part. 
Opposition will argue that such mechanisms will increase the price of goods and services and will affect who are already affected by inflation. Studies have suggested that carbon taxes and cap and trade systems have a small inflationary effect in the market. By creating new sources of public finance, carbon price initiatives can enable government investments in critical public priorities like healthcare, education, or infrastructure. By using this measure to support the people who are disproportionately affected by structural changes with the low carbon transition, Carbon price is more than climate policy. It's an economic policy. Revenues raised by carbon price can go toward supporting policy priorities, including investment in communities affected by pollution, investing in clean energy, helping to provide a just transition for communities dependent on fossil fuels, or the revenue can be returned directly to citizens through tax cuts or rebates. My name is Enrique Dominguez. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.